YouTube. What's going on, guys? This is Mr. Tun Two. Well, guys, the food vlog is back. We're now headed to a hamburger joint. Yes, that's right. We're gonna have a hamburger for lunch today on the food vlog. All right, guys. So here we go. And yep, that's right. We're going out to Harvey's. Harvey's here in Canada. They make pretty awesome burgers. And of course, the drive through. Here we are. Chicken meal deal. Chicken meal deal? Yep, I guess probably buffalo. Buffalo yep. and uh, fries, fries, and poutine? Uh, fries is fine. Large fries? No, fries. Regular fries. Regular fries, yep. no problem. And is it with uh, Pepsi? And no, the drink would be a milkshake. Uh, milkshake? Which flavor shake would you like? Chocolate. I'm oh, sorry, say that again. Chocolate? Chocolate milkshake. Sorry about that. Chocolate and lettuce, tomato, ranch, and lettuce, tomato, ranch on the buffalo. Everything, yep. Oh, there. 1070, please thank you. Thank you. You'll see. Yep, thank you. Do you like your receipt, sir? I know. Guys, oh my god. Just look at this burger. It's so fantastic and spicy. It's a chicken buffalo burger from Harvey's. Oh my goodness. I also got some fries and a milkshake, a chocolate one. Oh my god, I'm in heaven right now. Mmm, that chocolatey milkshake tastes so amazing. Oh my god. Mmm. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what life is like having a multi function steering wheel with Tiptronic shifters on it in a Mark 6 Jetta S 2 liter non-turbo motor base model all right guys i know a lot of you jenna s owners are wishing your steering wheel came with multifunction controls as well as paddle shifters for people who have automatic transmissions well off the bat i can tell you that it is freaking awesome to have paddle shifters on this jenna s model car oh my goodness especially on the highway on the freeway and obviously it's very helpful when you're trying to pass someone Obviously, under 55 miles per hour. Always keep under 55. All right, guys. You take off, you pass them, and you slow them down again. I installed the actual steering wheel myself, and uh, also the wiring as well. I installed them about two years ago now. I just haven't showed you guys yet. And I thought it was time to show you guys the steering wheel, as well as show you guys how quick the admin transmission shifts with the passengers themselves. So we'll see how fast it shifts or slow it shifts with the power shifters, both in normal driving mode as well as in sport mode. All right, guys, this is the, uh, I think, Asian six-speed automatic transmission of the Mark VI uh, Jetta, so year 2011 till 2015, I think, was the last year when it was two liter automatic. Without further ado, here we go, out of the video, I'm going to put you guys back up here. In this corner of the window so you can see you know forwards towards my steering wheel and my uh, you know front windshield area all right guys so without further ado here we go get ready we just had a snowstorm yesterday which was tuesday january 29th today's wednesday january 30th so that's why you see the roads here now freshly plowed salted and all the snow is off to the side curb and side sidewalk slash side lawn basically here at a red light. I'm now 
driving in direct drive mode. I'm switching it over now to manual mode. So you can see here now, the number one in my instrument cluster. It changed from number one to two to three to four to five to six according to your whatever gear you're in basically. So right now we're going to be using the power shifters. I got my fingers on them. And not the actual, you know, gear selector stick. So off we go, first gear. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. So it does take roughly a second to two seconds to shift between gears, looks like. Fifth gear. And sixth. There are just about the speed limit here. Turn it on. Come close to a red light. Here you can, you know, downshift yourself or just don't do anything, don't touch any paddles, and it'll downshift by itself. Right now, I'm in fourth gear, bringing out the third, pick up a little faster. Fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. Now we're doing the speed limit. cruising along. So it does take about, yeah, I'd say a second or two to shift gears. So it's not like the dual clutch in the GTIs or whatnot, or both of the cars. It's obviously just a regular like manual transmission, not dual clutch. So the shifts are, you know, a little bit laggy. About one second, two seconds long, to shift. So it's obviously, you know, not the best, but not the worst either. It's, you know, somewhat mediocre-ish. But I still like it, I still prefer it because this is the only car I have. I don't have a DS3 version car, so, you know, whatever you have is what you, you know, have to use and have to, you know, like as much as you can, basically. So, so cruising along here, sixth gear. We have a lot of green lights so far. Oh, coming to a uh, small little, you know, little stop here. Pick up the second gear. There we go, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth. Now we're about the speed limit. Coming to traffic here, so again, to come to a stop, you can downshift if you wanted to, but if you don't want to downshift, just don't touch the paddles and it'll downshift by itself, no problem. Now we're done second. So second, now I've done the first by all by itself without me pressing anything. Take it off in first. Oh, stop for the thing. Let the school bus go by. It's just on school now, school time. So take it off in first, second, third. Now I'm going to switch it into sport mode. Okay, for sport mode, you can't actually turn the gear selector shifter knob uh, to the right to get the plus and minus. You have to basically just stay in S without going to the right and plus and minus. You see S here. Now let's see if I can change gears. There we go. Now we're second gear. I activated the gear selector thing by pressing the right paddle shifter. Turns it on. Now we're going to see in the next light whether or not this uh, this sport mode changes the gear faster than one second or not. Let's see if I can. Now we're second. Now go back to the first. First gear, second now. Oh, try for the stop. Go get first, second, third.
Alright guys, and also, uh, let's say you're now in sport mode, and the gear selector is just, you know, straight, it's not turned to the right. Uh, so you start off like this, just S mode, right? Without any, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4 gears labeling. So turn it on, you press on the right, uh, paddle shifter, turn it on. That's only when you're driving. If you're going to go into the S, the sport mode, you go down, and there's no to the right position. So for this, you have to turn on the paddle shifter themselves by here. In order to get gear selections with power shifters in, in the instrument cluster. And if you want to do that, you're going to turn it on and you start dr to drive. One second of driving, start off. You have to change into its turning mode and get the power shifters going. So now we're waiting for the light. I really enjoyed this uh, steering wheel. The steering wheel was off a GTI car with automatic transmission, DSC transmission, uh, with power shifters. It came exactly the way it is. The only thing I did was I changed the GTI badge and I put an R badge on it. Another logo badge on it. It came more unique to my taste, basically. We're driving now, my second gear. I just turned it on. Third gear. Fourth gear. This gear. It's fourth. And sixth gear. Oh, the fourth gear. So if you don't keep using it, it turns off. Turn back on again. This gear. This gear. And if I'm not using it, I'm not downshifting right now. Just turn off the turn to running mode and I go back to S mode, which is sport automatic. The relay here now, I uh, stopped, so I went to back into S uh, mode, S mode on the mag, not the tronic. So again, in order to turn into tronic, you gotta press the right power shifter one time, and it'll show their second gear, because after you just taken out, so you should take off for your first gear, by the time you press it though, it goes to second gear. So now taking off. Press it, so second gear, see? Third gear. So the shifts are, you know, about half a second to a second long. They're not uh, that long, actually. They're not uh, dual class, you know, DSG, uh, you know, fast, but they're somewhat still pretty fast. There's no complaints by me. That's really not. Now we're going to the gear, so it goes back to S mode. That's all. All right, guys, starting out now in S mode again. Give some gas. We've got third gear now starting out. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Sixth gear. Shifts were pretty fast. Not too bad. And again, we're not shifting anymore because we're all sixth gear. We're not going to downshift nor pass anyone. So, coming to a red light, we'll leave it the way it is. And then it'll automatically change back to S mode. S mode automatic. Sport mode automatic. All by itself, especially if you stop. And now coming to red light. Dodge it now at home. Let's go back to S. We stop. Yeah, C one S. Now turn back on again. Take off. Press the right power shifter. There you go. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Sixth gear. 
as you will notice, it just went back to S mode. S mode automatic. Now I clicked the bounce up here. So the. It's running it back on, it's up to 6 here. Now we're going to go again, it doesn't see anything, so it went back to S mode. S mode automatic. Form automatic. Which means you get that by itself. And that's the experience of driving with paddle shifters in Tetronic mode, both regular driving modes and sport modes, in a base model 2 liter S Jetta, year 2011 to 2015. So, if you really like the experience and think that paddle shifting is your way of driving, then I encourage you to install your own steering wheel with paddle shifters on your car and wire it up just like I have. Alright, guys? This is Mr. Tun 2 signing out. Take care, have a good day.